It's very exothermic in that there's enough energy that the iron will be molten, will be liquid. So it is very, very high energy reaction. It's actually used, I mean, in some cases, it's used railroad tracks together. Uh, so it's an interesting reactor. We're using World War during, this is D-Day. And on D-Day, it was actually used by uh, troops. Uh, the Rangers would sneak behind the German lines, and they had termite grenades that they would throw into the um, artillery, and it would use the firing mechanism together. So they would be liquid iron. And the Germans were upset when they didn't fire their guns. We were pretty happy about that. Now, so what I'm going to do is take my mixture. I'm actually taking the aluminum. Iron oxide, by the way, is just called rust. That's the common name for this. But I mix them together very well. They're very fine powder. I'm going to pour it into here. I use these terracotta pots because, well, you know, plastic will melt and actually the metal would, would crack. The terracotta, it'll crack them, but it'll hold together enough for this reaction to go. I can only use them once. So. so what I'm going to do now, it does take a lot of energy, taxation energy, to get this reaction going. So I'm going to have to use uh, potassium permanganate, which is a very strong oxidizing compound, a very deep purple color. And we'll use glycerin. What it'll do is the potassium permanganate will oxidize the glycerin up, and that produces enough heat to start this reaction. And the nice thing is it takes a few minutes for that reaction to start, which gives me a chance to get the heck out of here. Okay, so use the manganate. <laughs> this is very thick. Oily compound. It's actually used for the lubricant. It takes it a few minutes. Let's see if Turkey smoke. And like I say, I hope it works. Sometimes it just doesn't work. And, I, and if that happens, I'll just apologize and say maybe next time. Way the wind's blowing, y'all be a little careful because there it goes. <laughs> it takes it a second, but it'll be very bright in just a second. Oh, I can feel the heat from here. Yeah. The iron, see the iron it's falling out the out bottom. The I would not touch that. <laughs> but you can see more iron inside the pot. It is very hot. In fact, if I put this, I don't do this on concrete because concrete has water in it. And if this molten iron hit the concrete, it would cause it to explode. And it's been known to injure people, you know, fragments of, of concrete flying around. Notice that it cracked the inside, the inner. Uh, Pot is cracked now. And trust me, I'm not going to touch that for several.